Hey guys, what's going on? So today is the day and before we get started, I want you to look at my crystal count nice and clean 1000 to be fully transparent i did have 1006 and then i refreshed the secret shop two times uh to get that okay we have our final urgent mission i thought we would do this together goblin treasure chest let's let's just go team one make that a bit more streamlined instead of taking fodders with us elson boost big ult a little bit of says action kind of weak little lorena attack Still okay. Says his second chance. Got a critical at times, so it was much better. And boom. Neat little box. Ooh, it's one of the goblin gates. Oh yeah. I got like a epic T4 necklace in here last time. It's just gonna... Okay, that's like not as good. Question time. Do you think Says his ultimate can kill the boss? We're gonna do Lorena on the minion. We're gonna burn it. It is a wood type. Leave your answers in the comments below. Too late, here we go. Oh, he missed. Ah, but maybe... Yeah, that was pretty close. All right, look, there it is. Clear urgent mission, 50 urgent missions. Let's go. Specialty change. Lorena, receive five crystals. And now we gotta check out the trial battle. Probably have a bit of a... What? Now? I have no idea what's going on. Like first I just had Lorena there and then I clicked Guardian and did a sign and then I have my whole team. Whatever. And now I have the Guardian there. This says NPC. Now it's just Lorena again. Can I like trick it into giving me my whole team? I don't know what I'm doing, but let's go with our whole team. It's probably safer, but I kind of feel like I might be cheating in some way or they might just give me the NPC team back anyway. Why are you all the way out here? I thought today was the day of Lorena's test. The Order of the Shield usually hold their tests in high places like this. You'll also have to come here when it's your time. I see. I thought it was being held in the fortress. The commander is too fixated on formalities, making us come all the way here in this kind of weather. Enough chit. We shall now conduct the final test for the apprentice knight, Lorena Lillen. Are you ready, Lorena? Yes, I, Lorena Lillen, am ready. Wow, what's that? Something's flying this way. Is that commander? I told you not to chit. Commander, it's a weavern. And Nagas too. Lots of them. What? I can just about manage a Naga, but a Weavern? The Weavern's aiming for you, Commander. It's got him from behind. What should I do? I can't go save the Commander because of the Nagas. Ugh. It's your time to shine, Lorena. If we get out of this red screen at one point. Calm down, Lorena. You need to be calm in times like these. Focus and you'll be able to read the Weavern's movement. Keep aiming at the target and there will be an opening when it lands. Remember the training. Think of your spear as an extension of your body. Damn, the shield's too far away from me. It's coming back. Be patient now. Here I go. Oh, right, Lord. Okay, they really did just give me Lorena back. Um, okay. Well, we got some crystals here. Typically, we want to get rid of the crystals. Oh, 30,000 damage. I really hope mine can do that at one point. Show you my skills. Uh, that was nice. Maybe I should have saved that we'll for the Weavern, though. And I'm kind of glad I didn't bring my real team because this Lorena is stronger than my entire team. My Here we go. Eh, bump. Um, uh, but, like, I can't really do much besides we'll just attacking, and I'm probably not gonna be able to kill that Weavern. Ow. No. No. Maybe we have to ignore the crystals. I don't know. Oh, I should have read that first. If I kill the Dark One when I'm at low health, I'll recover full health. And uh, so I should kill the gold one instantly so I can get that increased attack and defense. All right, let's go for the gold one and save the dark one for when we're low health. Cool beans. We may have to do this one more time because I already screwed it up just by going for the Weavern. Should be able to take one more of his attacks and then I'll go for the gold crystal. 71,000, bump, nice. All right, obviously you don't need to be exactly perfect, but uh, there it is. Wow, Lorena defeated Weavern all on her own. You're amazing, Lorena. I've never seen a spear move so fast and true. That was amazing. It was like she knew how the Weavern would move before it did. Well, it is a turn-based RPG after. If she's this good, does she even need to spar the commander? You saved my life, Lorena. Commander, to save you, fought valiantly, and you were in perfect sync with your weapon. Oh, Maya's right. There's no need for us to spar, Lady Lorena Lillen. You've passed the test. The ceremony will be held back at the fortress. Win a trial battle. Okay, here we go. Receive... And hero specialty change. This process is irreversible. Lordy lordy. 
In the name of the goddess and the great heroes of the past, I grant you the title of knight. May you never forget your honor and loyalty. I, Lorena Lillen, shall never forget my honor and loyalty. Please stand up and receive your weapon and armor, Lady Lorena Lillen. Yes, sir. Thank you, Commander. Do you remember me saying you could be granted a position even higher than a simple knight if you proved yourself sufficiently? You pass your test with flying colors, so I shall appoint you the title of Vice Commander. Vice Commander? Thank you very much. Alright, I definitely... <laughs> uh, never mind. Me, Vice Commander of the Order of the Shield, just yesterday I was only an apprentice knight. It's all a bit hard to take in. How should a Vice Commander act? I'm scared to make any mistakes. Lorena, you look so cool during the ceremony. And to be appointed Vice Commander? Congratulations. Thanks, Maya, but I'm worried. I don't know what exactly Vice Commanders do. I don't worry about that too much. When I was appointed to be an official knight, I was appointed as Combat Commander, but nothing really changed. Combat Commander? Yeah. Everyone has their own title, right? I was still an apprentice, so I was appointed as patrol leader. There aren't actually any other members of the patrol team for me to lead except Raku. But we'll grow. I'm the leader of the strike team. There's no one in my team at the moment either, but I'm actively recruiting. It may just be a title, but the commander wants us to be active in the growth of our order. I see. That's right. We'll all grow. We'll try our best to achieve our goals and overcome our limits. It's the same with our order. If we find more like you who dream of becoming knights, we can only keep getting bigger. By that time, I'll have so many knights under my command, and then I'll change the name of the order to the Knights of Lorena's Glowing Spear. <laughs> it sounds so cool, but also kind of hard to say. Okay, look, there it, there it goes. Nice. Please, Lord and God and every other higher. Don't tell me she is actually three star. All right, I, there, no. It says she's three star, but she better not be three star or I'm uninstalling right now. Um, okay, so basically her ultimate d didn't change much except uh, it'll decrease her combat readiness by 15%, which isn't really huge, but uh, I guess it's a little upgrade. You better not be three star, I swear to God, Lorena. It's okay if your awakenings are gone, that's fine because I heard someone say that, but don't be three star, please, for the love of God, don't be three star. Uh... Confirm. I am scared. Uh, you finally succeeded in your hero's specialty change. Heroes that went through specialty change can be enhanced further in skill tree. If you've leveled the same hero to level 50 again, don't forget that the hero can be promoted again. What? Tap the skill tree button to browse through the hero's skill tree. Oh, look at that. She even has all of her awakenings. Someone told me. Someone was asking me why I'm awakening Lorena. They'll, they'll be gone when I go through specialty change. But apparently that's not true. This is the skill tree and runes that the hero will be using. Wow, there's kind of a lot of them. You may use the enhanced runes to make your hero stronger. Runes can increase a hero's stats or increase the power of a certain skill. Ooh. Please remember that enhancing runes can open the skill tree up more. To enhance runes, you require the same elemental runes, and the more you enhance the runes, the more ingredients are required. If you want to reset the amount of enhancements, tap this button to reset and obtain back all the ingredients used. Sky stones are needed to reset, so please take caution when doing so. That's enough explanation. I look forward to seeing your hero reborn. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, it goes left to right. I was kind of thinking up to down for some reason. Uh, so combat readiness of sharp blow. Ooh, and uh, that sounds pretty good. And this is just dual attack chance. I mean, we could do all of them, I guess. Oh yeah, but it can go up to level three. Now we need six of those. I'm not sure if it might not be better just to get one of each. Oh, wait, but they're all more expensive now. I don't know about dual attack. I mean, it's, it's really nice when it happens, but 0.5% chance doesn't seem like a whole lot. I mean, it would still only be 2% once it's maxed, apparently. But it looks like once we have plus three, we can move on to the other one. Defense? 0.2%? That's 1%. I don't think she has like a good amount of defense anyway, so that's not gonna be super, uh... Let's continue with this. Um, we can do it once more, I guess. I mean, yeah, see, once we have plus three, we, we can move on to the next one, which does still take the little ones, so we can't really do anything there. But yeah, I'd probably go for the one down here. Uh, sharp blow, damage increase. More damage is always good. She has a DPS after all. Critical hit damage might be good. 5% more combat readiness, decretion or reduction, or you got critical hit damage. I don't know, that's kind of hard. Not there yet, so don't gotta decide. Ooh, a 20% chance to reset cooldown when this is maxed if you kill someone with her ultimate. That sounds pretty interesting. Oh, and then a pretty high chance to get 20% combat readiness, I guess, when using sharp blow. 
What's her last one? Okay, and then this one will further reduce the combat readiness of the one she hits with her ultimate. All right, yeah, they all seem pretty good. I imagine we'll start needing some Ultra Fangs and some Blazing Souls to get through here. But uh, yeah, I guess for now, we can, I believe, awaken her. Oh no, that's right, we spent those Ultra Fangs, I believe, in one of the connection missions. But yeah, super cool, happy to finally get her. Uh, she looks cool-er. Definitely cool is the right word there. Well, let's go ahead and take her into Arena because, yeah, you can see this retry button. I lost, even though this guy doesn't even have a level 60. I think that guy killed me without me even doing anything. Just so much uh, speed and I guess combat readiness from Silk. Let's just do a refresh because having a loss there is bad luck, obviously. And um, I don't know. Let's go for... Man, everyone has Cecilia in their team except this guy, which has three grasses. Cecilia is so annoying. Whatever, let's try this one. I think Lorena does have a decent amount of speed. Rip critical hit chance. Cecilia, stop it. Oh, no one got taunt... Uh, well, except Elson, but who cares about that? I already got his buff. Maybe her? Because she would be going next, and maybe I can get Sez to go next instead? Uh, let's give that a try. See if that works like that. No critical, because of the critical stuff. But, uh... I'm yeah, so you know says can go next. Uh, good enough to probably... Ooh, if it criticals. Please... Crit no! Oh, maybe? Look at that. Look at that. How unlucky you gotta be. Whatever, you're gonna die now. One more. Lorena ult. I will be honest, like, her animation is really, really nice. But I think I will kind of miss her having a normal attack as her ultimate. Because I can always just leave that on when I'm farming some easy place. And uh, now I'll probably turn it off to speed it up a little bit. I don't think she's that much stronger than she was like before I did the thing. But she has a lot more potential now uh, through those runes. And uh, I don't really have to worry anymore about awakening her or such. Because she is in her commander form. But it seems that it doesn't matter what you do with her. She'll still be five, six star, how, whatever you have her in all of her awakenings. Uh, yeah, I don't really think I need those right now, so take it. You can take one of those as well. Don't have any life runes. <laughs> that, that does make sense. Got some dark runes, you can take those. Got some proof of courage for the next few days because of how much I've been spamming. Might take it a bit easier now though. Okay, the mushroom just hit Elson, please. Why? Why? Elson's not even in front. Well, what are the chances of both mushrooms exploding on my Elson? Probably not gonna go through Labyrinth this video. I'll probably go through Zone 2 privately, and then maybe I'll make a little series for Zone 3, because it is the last Labyrinth. Um, as far as my crystals, someone, a few of you guys were wondering where my, where all my crystals went. They went to these bookmark bundles. Came with a few penguins, which helped me raise some, like, fodder quicklier, I guess. And also, I have a thousand Covenant bookmarks for when I ever decide to start using them. Uh, and also as a side bonus, you know, maybe people won't think I'm a whale, because I'm actually not. Basically a meme at this point, like, I couldn't care less. <laughs> that sounds like something someone who cares would say. I mean, okay, maybe it does get on my nerves a little bit, you know, from time to time, but uh, it's fine, it's fine, I'm good. But yeah, that will do it for today. Please give me congratulations for finally getting Commander Lorena. I know I was the last person to do it, but I also avoided raising her ultimate because I wasn't sure if that would stick because it actually does change, but I'm sure it probably does. I mean, it has the same sort of skill enhanced, so we can do that now. We have a lot of these Molagoras because we haven't really used them. We probably need a red one. Oh, no, we don't, but we need, need one more of those. Well, we can also do her main skill. I just want to make sure I have enough so we can spend three here. Uh, one, uh, two, three. Okay, so we're saving the last four for that one. I'm surprised she doesn't need a red one yet. Oh, her facial expression has changed. She is actually quite happy now, probably because she's a commander and she's not useless anymore. I mean, that's what her little description here said. I wasn't calling, she was still good before she was a commander, but now it says Vice Commander of the Order of the Shield with Outstanding Talent. Nice. We can also check out her like, oh, it's currently on special. Yeah, that's completely different. So normal is like that, upset, sad, laugh, flustered. Yeah, they're completely different facial expressions, which is cool. I like special actually now. She just looks kind of, kind of happy and chill. Um, all right. <laughs> It's enough cringe from me. That'll do it for today, guys. Thanks, as always, for leaving a like and subscribing 
and hitting that bell notification. I thought I said I was... See you guys. Bye.